Hello. So, I've decided to do a review of the Rocker Basic Compact Tank System. Um, I needed a system which would fit into an 80mm void and my void is absolutely no more and it's absolutely no less than 80mm. Um, I originally bought a purer slimline system. Um, turns out it wasn't slimline, you needed more like 95 to 100mm. Um, even though the instructions and all the literature online said it was 80 millimeters, um, it did not fit at all. And no matter what I did, I, I couldn't do anything about it. So I took it back to the shop and I purchased this Rocker Basic T Tank Compact. Um, I believe it can also fit in a framework um, as well, but for this installation, um, I will be fitting it behind the backboard in between the two buttons there. Um, my installation height at the minute is 1100, but I should have allowed for 1200 minimum. These things, because for slimline, uh, to get the volume of water inside them, they go a bit wider and they go a bit taller. So compared to a standard system, this needs a lot of extra height. Inside the box, you get your system, which comes pretty much like this. It's got a little o-ring on the bottom. Get your downpipe into the toilet. And your flush pipe, which goes into the toilet. Um, the downpipe in the instructions, it says it can be cut by up to 150 millimeters. Um, I think I'm gonna be cutting about 130 millimeters off it. Um, hopefully I'll still get a good flush. I don't know whether it makes a difference or not, but we'll find out. Um, in terms of all the fittings, you, you get your uh, tap connection, which actually goes on the top here. So you fit it from the inside, um, sorry, from the top, and then you screw up from the inside. Um, what I've bought to connect to that is, I've bought this, it's a JG fitting, um, and it's a tap connector, angled tap connector. Um, so that will, that's just a straight push fit. Should be dead easy to plumb in, really easy. There's no overflow outlet on these um, or anything like that. In terms of the other things you get, you get four brackets, the quite heavy duty metal brackets. You get all your wall fixings, really heavy duty wall fixings, a bit like what you get with radiators when you're fixing them to a wall. Bit overkill I think, but better safe than, than not. This is a little sponge with silicon inside it so when you come to fit you can smear the silicon over all the rubber components and it should just slide in uh, together with no leaks um, with a new installation like this i will probably fit or you know lubricate with either silicon or plumber's mate because i do not want to have to come back to this i've never had anything leak yet on me but I've always gone that extra mile of putting extra precautions in. So overall, it's a really good quality system. Um, inside, I mean, th this for a start, this is a, a brass fitting on the Pura system that I received. This was plastic. So, and, it, and inside you've got, this is where your, your flush plate would connect to. So that's one flush, and that's your, your dual flush. Um, Overall, I'm impressed with it. Um, the instructions as well, um, I don't have them to hand, but the instructions are absolutely fantastic. They're really clear and easy to read. So I've just connected the uh, inlet pipe connector and really easy to do. It's just a hand turn screw and the other fitting, thumb tight in it. Um, this one here. The flush, um, mechanism comes straight out, dead easy to do that and it's really easy to fit back in. Really impressed as I said before, this is excellent quality pipe work. Um, it feels really sturdy. Um, so I'm going to put the rest of it together and uh, see how I get on. Okay so I found the instructions and this is actually capable of doing various different flushes to suit needs. Um, 
instructions are really clear. Um, so we're just this turn knob on here according to column C with the dimension. Um, and then you've also got to uh, adjust this part, which is so this is the bit that you have to turn, and the bottom of this red threaded part is what you have to measure according to this table. And then the other part is on the inside, you've got to adjust these little these slide up and down. So it is actually set um, to the 6 litre and 3 litre, as far as I can see. Um, not the WRAS approved version, it's the 6 litre and 3 litre. have no idea what the difference is really in, in all that. But yeah, good stuff, dead easy to work on. These parts are easy to, to remove. Apart from this one, I haven't figured out how to get this one out, so to, I'm just holding it there with my hand. So here we have the cistern fitted um, the the installation I've got here is obviously you can, you can see the backboard. I'm going to have a worktop on the top. Now the height of, from the floor to the top of this board is 1100 millimeters. Um, I've cut the flush pipe down by 130 millimeters. You can cut 150 millimeters off it, as I said earlier. Um, and what's happened is the pipe is sticking out from the top. Luckily, I've got a 40 millimeter worked up on there, so I've, I've just rebated the top, as you can see there. So I just point my finger in the right direction. So the worktop sits on top and it clears all that nicely. So this is the back of the flush plate fitting. Now, the, the blue surround, the red pins, if you can see it, but the blue pin in there and the screw comes with the chrome flush plate which you buy separately to the system. So I paid about £75 UK pounds for the system and the flush plate was £35 although they are available cheaper on eBay for maybe I think I saw quite a few at £20 depends on the style. Now the flush plate is av available in various different styles so you can get chrome you can get white you can get matte gray finishes you can get circle buttons um just have a look online there's loads of different options the codes start with pl1 pl2 pl3 pl4 and usually those codes are available in different color options so sometimes dual colors chrome white single colors and so on so in terms of fitting the, this plate, you have to cut, I have, because I've got a very slim installation depth, I've had to cut down these pins and they just screw in. You set the depth from this plate here, which is actually detailed here. So these are 23 millimeters from the surface of the, the white plate or, or maybe the blue plate. Actually, it's the blue plate, sorry. Um, these blue pins, I've got them set as far back as, as possible because of the, it's so slim, I've had to do that. So you can actually see the blue plate is touching the inner blue plate, which is the system. And that's how it, it fixes on. It's quite secure. This part anyway. To attach the chrome plate, you, you attach the bottom first. I'm going to try and do this one handed and then the top clips in place. Um, I'm not 100% happy with this, there's a bit of movement there but the buttons work really nicely and I'll just do a flush. It's, it's relatively quiet, obviously I've got the work top off the top so it might be a bit noisier um, but it fills up quite quick. So this is the half flush and this is the full flush. <laughs> It's a bit of a clonk, which I'm not sure what that is, um, but it, it won't bother me. It's one of them things um, that you just get with these. But when it's filling up, it's quite quiet. I don't know how it sounds on video, but from where I'm sat, it is relatively quiet. I'm happy with that. And there you go, it's finished. 
So overall, what do I think of this system? It's the Rocker Compact Tank System. I really like it. I'm really impressed with it. Everything from what you get in the box, the fittings and fixtures, the plumbing, the parts of it, you know, but even the plastic parts are a really, really good quality. Um, but obviously, as I said in the video earlier, you've got the, the brass inlet pipe connection and the connections after that seem really solid and well made. And I've got every faith in this, that it will be a reliable system in the future. And I won't hesitate to fit one of these again in any other bathroom or ensuite. Absolutely love it, you know, a uh, ton of benefits. Um, the, the only downside uh, to it really is you, you've got to, you really must have that extra height um, from the floor to be able to fit one of these slimline systems. But overall, this gets the thumbs up from me. Happy with it. Please uh, let me know if there's any feedback, comments. This is my first YouTube video. I'd love to do more. I love doing DIY, plumbing, you know, dabbling everything. So I'm gonna try and upload some more videos to help other people out. And that's all I wanna do, just help you guys. Thanks very much for watching, goodbye.